Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Grow and Clip Bonsai for Seniors. Today's February 17th of 2023. It's Friday. It's 24 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 4 degrees Celsius at 8 p.m. Today we're going to do moringa, and I'll show you a couple of things, a couple of updates on what's growing or not. But we have the seeds, 10 seeds soaking since February 13th. We started that in the evening, the soaking, and I'm I couldn't get in the garage to get the uh, soil because it was all frozen so I'm mixing my whatever black gold cactus mix I got with Teg's mix and I just mixed it all together and we're going to plant the seeds into here I got the screen in there and out of the 10 seeds one is floating so whether it's good or not I have no idea but let me take the seeds out as you can see they're inside in the one floater so we're going to just pour it through the screen. Like that. Let it drain a little bit. And then we're going to get our mix. Let's hope we got enough to fill the bottom. We should. Just gonna spread it out with the bottom of our our little uh, measuring cup. Yep, cheap at Walmart. Best little soil container I got. <laughs> Just like that. Let me show you the mix so you can see how it looks. You can see the lava rock in there and the perlite and the uh, whatever Ted mixed into there and whatever the black gold is <laughs> but let's get a little more soil yeah the old shovel and snow we had the storm storm but we got lucky last night it had uh, about an inch I would say it was a wet heavy snow so shoveling that was a little hard but I got it in time because after that it started coming down like crazy and it's a good thing I did it then because it uh, it froze so the people who walked on the sidewalk in the snow that was down you can see frozen footprints in there so I gotta get up at 3 30 in the morning get that all done put some uh, salt de-icer on the sidewalk so nobody slip and fall and run around like a nut today <laughs> okay so we got our soil mix in there and what the seeds since the seeds are big you can see it we're just I don't know which way they're gonna go in so I'm just gonna put them in ten seeds this way here, we get a percentage of what's viable and what's not viable. I'm just going to put them in like that. Small ones. Another big one. And I could probably put one in the middle here if I space these out a little more. Now they're supposed to have a big tap root, but we'll see what happens when we grow it. And my New Jersey tea seeds that I put out I was doing the research on the line and I think they remember the buckthorn family but uh, they're a bush and they almost look to me like a viburnum the flowers on them so that's pretty they look pretty good okay so we're just gonna get that in and then from uh, Jason and Colleen they posed a good question for me to give a shot at. So once the seeds come in the mail, we're going to tr do something completely, completely different. I mean, completely different. And I found the right seed to do it. But I'm not going to tell you <laughs> until I get the seed in. There we go. Jason and Colleen are from Clyde's Conundrum. Very good video, great couple. They enjoy doing what they do and they do worm farming, composting, 
uh, potatoes and they get good crops of potatoes and all other kinds of uh, vegetables that they grow so they posed this good question to me and I says okay I'll give it a shot so we'll take mr. elephant and since the soil's moist and there's no because I usually put water in there to mix it up so it gets a nice damp consistency where you can water it and all the surface tensions off so we're going to give these seeds a nice watering and I'll find the brightest spot in a window in the basement that I can find for them and then we'll see if they grow and then I'll put the, the name tag on it okay now for the water remember that blue sand I used well I got this amazing deep pour and just as an experiment I got this so I can really you can put this in it'll look like water but look at that the deep pour it's like a, a dark water <laughs> with a little duck swimming in it behind the rock but let's check on our leaves and see how they're doing let's see what's going on with them are they still green did they rot let's see what's going on so let's take it out of the bag and let's see what we got here and as you can see one of the leaves is picking out of the ground we got fungus on here so I'm gonna cut that off and get rid of that and there's nothing here yet so I'm gonna get that leaf in because it probably came out and this one here you can see it's starting to get black over here so I'm just gonna cut it the dead piece off and so far this one here isn't looking right so I'm gonna cut this down to there and pull that out so I'll leave them in got nothing to lose this is the hibiscus leaves now I probably could have put some more stuff in here but the soils damp but it's not wet so that's good so let's put it in here keep our fingers crossed and see if this experiment works if it doesn't work I'll try a different leaf and we'll see if we can do it okay so let's take that out and put this over here and then we had the Remember the pomegranates that I cut? Well, you can see down there, there's a couple that did take. <clears throat> and then from, uh, from Bernadette, I planted her stem. And I got it in uh, Ted's mix. Then I put sand on top. So it's still green. And from uh, Marisol Dealey from Frostbite Bonza, she says, Tam. If Bernadette's right arm roots, we can call her Marie Antoinette <laughs> because she was beheaded. <laughs> so we got Marie Antoinette and Bernadette. It rhymes. Thank you, Marisol. <laughs> She's got a good show. <clears throat> now we got this one, a rose cactus. Nothing yet. We put the. We just put it in, and then. There's our avocado. It's starting to crack. And what I'm doing now is I'm leaving the avocados in water. Just changing the water every once in a while. And once they start to crack, I plant them. Because the ones that I didn't let crack, as you can see here, is still solid. And if you see this, there's that water that glass look how nice it gets put water on there nice deep blue so it looks like real water there so mr. elephant's just giving it a water so we got our egg 
and it's in our egg dish. <laughs> so that's keeping in with the situation there. So the pemphis didn't grow the seeds so far. So what I did, because they're so small, I don't know if I lost them on the last planting or not. So I took the rest of the seeds, and this is it, Pemphis Sidulala. Are you? Uh, I'm tongue-tied today, but I put this on in uh, yesterday, and I just used tissue paper, and I just put wet it, moisten the soil, wet it, and just put the, the seeds on top. I made my hoop house with the floral stem. So I'm going to put it in here, and we'll see if these seeds germinate. So don't worry about starting from seed. I don't care if you're 103. Something's different for you to try. And our geranium cutting that we stuck. Okay, this is the dead part here. Let me cut this off. And I don't know, but you can see a little green on there. So maybe it'll root and we'll have a nice little mini bonsai tree like that. So Jason and Colleen, seeds are on order. So I'm going to mark this. I still got other Moringa seeds so we can try later on. And the moss hasn't grown at all. So ah, a lot of dead stuff, but that's winter. Winter in the basement. So ah, there's Kevin. The straw boss, he loves his rocking chair. And you can see that how old that rocking chair is from uh, 1937, 57, and when I graduated, so it's been around. Good old rocking chair. So today's Friday night, <clears throat> dance night. Get your sweetie. If it's cold like it is over here, hot cup of tea, some big band music. Put a slow dance on, a little waltz on, dance with your sweetheart. Remember when you were, when you first met and just get to know each other again. <laughs> I don't care if you're 103 and your wife's 102 or you're both 103. Put on a little dance music. Sit back and relax if you can't move. Nice hot cup of tea and just sit there and enjoy the music when music was music. Take care everybody and when them seats come in. Jason and Colleen, we're going to go for it. <laughs>